folks, and a great big welcome to each and every one of you. Uh, I recorded the tune uh, earlier on this morning. Uh, it's called Snowshoes. I thought it was rather appropriate for this time of year in Winnipeg. It's uh, minus 21 centigrade today, which is roughly minus 7 Fahrenheit, so... It's a cool one. Um, yeah, that tune was... Snowshoes was uh, made popular by a fiddler in... Uh, he, I think he worked out of Nashville. His name was Tommy Jackson. And he was a terrific fiddler. He was also a studio musician. He played on a lot of other folks' uh, long play records. And I, I thought it was a nice tune. I enjoyed playing it. Hope you enjoyed uh, listening to it. Um, what I'd like to do now is a little Bible reading. So for those of you folks who aren't interested in and do not want to hear a Bible reading, now is the time for you to end the video. I'll say adios. See you next time. Thanks for watching. For those of you folks that are hanging on, I've been uh, reading through Matthew the last few weeks. And uh, at the very end of Matthew, right before Jesus left earth to return back to heaven, he t was talking to the 11 disciples. This is from Matthew chapter 28, verse 16. Then the 11 disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. And that's called uh, the Great Commission. But I was thinking uh, earlier on, God also gave commissions to a lot of the people in the Old Testament too. First being Adam and Eve, he said to them, he put them in a gorgeous uh, the Garden of Eden and said, uh, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth with with uh, human beings. And uh, then he gave them the free will to choose, and they, they chose poorly. And because of that, uh, mankind was plunged into a sinful nature. And later on, uh, God gave Abraham the commission of... Uh, Leave where you live and come down. We're going to start a new place in, in Israel. And uh, by the time you're done, your descendants will be like the grains of sand. Uh, there'll be just countless millions of them. And uh, later on, he gave Moses a commission to... Uh, rescue the nation of Israel from slavery in Egypt. And all through the Old Testament, all of God's prophets were given commissions from him. Do this, go do that. They had the freedom uh, to choose. They didn't have to, but most of them did. Jonah was a little was a little uh, off the rails at first, but he came back. And then in the New Testament, uh, God gave you know, the first one to, to carry out the work of God was John the Baptist, and he prepared the way for Jesus, who came a few months later, a few years later. And when Jesus left, he gave his disciples that commission that we just read in Matthew. Later on, he uh, 
gave the same commission to Paul and different times, different places, different people, but it all all centers onto the kingdom of God. Spread the good news about the kingdom of God and uh, give people the choice of do they want to belong to God's kingdom or do they want to continue on in the chaos of sin? It's a very simple choice. Right after Jesus left, he also gave the disciples and all of the people that were gathered together the gift of the Holy Spirit. And uh, before his crucifixion, you notice that the Disciples were kind of weak and indecisive, never knew what to say, but as soon as they got the Holy Spirit, they they became, uh, they were full of authority, they spoke authoritatively, and they started preaching to all the people around them about uh, becoming followers of Jesus and talking about the kingdom of God. So the Holy Spirit is, helps all of the people and all of his followers from that time to the present day. Um, so followers of Jesus are meant to be God's uh, hands and feet on the earth, doing his will, spreading the news about the kingdom of God. So, I hope you enjoyed uh, the fiddle tune. I hope you enjoyed the reading from Matthew about the Great Commission. Now comes the time for me to say God bless and I'll see you down the road.